Hello everyone! This video today is covering Day 4 of the epic Continental Divide trip that we took around Labor Day weekend 2022. Day 4 opened up with packing up just east of Flathead Lake on the banks of the Swan River off of Montana Highway 83. Heading out just before 9am we loop back north slightly to get back in the forest road system to fuel up in Condon, Montana. So to prepare for this trip we acquired a route from a group of people that did the CDT back a few years ago but interestingly enough, there was quite a bit of highway and pavement that we were finding they traveled, not exactly the dirt rock forest road network that we were wanting to follow. So starting today, we took navigation a bit into our own hands. Between the roughly eight devices we had between us all, we found an alternate route. Today we had about eight miles of highway, but we quickly got back on the forest road system for a real trail ride. As we continued south, we passed Lake Elva and Inez, then by Seely Lake in the adjoining town with the same name, then ended our day at a dispersed camping site on the east side of Morrill Mountain on Little Shanley Creek. We had a good amount of driving, waterfall stops, and all just good around nature gazing. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know if you saw something you really liked in the comments below. Thanks! We always slowed down at bridges for two reasons. One was not to be bad users of the trail by bumping and blasting over these things, but really two was that here more than anywhere else I've traveled, the Forest Service went to length of reclaiming the areas where they built the bridge with boulders, logs, smaller river rocks, everything to make the bridge look like it belonged there as part of the natural landscape instead of just an eyesore. We stopped at many of these bridges just to walk down and just take it in. Most of the forest roads were well graded, allowing us to keep a good pace going without blasting too quickly through. We did see a few hikers, cyclists, and local residents up just enjoying the scenery or helping the Forest Service cut up trees from storm blowdown or fire remnants. By this point of the video, you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is up with his hood? Well. I had gotten my Jeep rather muddy and uh, pulled into a gas station, grabbed the, uh, the wiper to clean off my windshield, and I'm like, you know what would be really cool? I drew a couple smiley faces on the outside of my Jeep to make people smile as I drove by. Well, on the hood, it, uh, as you can kind of tell, turned into something perhaps a little inappropriate for younger audiences, so I stopped and I just kept letting it get dirty again. I drove with my windows down a lot to listen for waterfalls. They were everywhere. We agreed as a group that we wanted to stop more to hike around more of these than we had in days past. Now, this approach, of course, worked great for these awesome experiences, but I'm still kind of cleaning the dust out of the cracks and crevices of my Jeep.
you hit animals. Now, at this point, we're starting to rise in average elevation. We start to see mountaintops poking above the trees, and some even have snow. The forest roads up here are more shelf-like, and you can start to see the clear cuts in the rock now. Man, these trees are gorgeous. further and further up the mountains, and we think to ourselves, hey, this looks like Bigfoot territory. Maybe, maybe, question mark? We did see bear, bear, bear the night before. Now we were observing a total fire ban the entire time that we were on this trip. There were active fires, I think at last count there were 60 or 70 active fires in Montana alone just as we were wrapping up the trip. So we wanted to do our part. Now as we went further and further up in elevation that dryness really started to come through here as you can see there's just dust everywhere. So we ended up spacing out pretty significantly not to smoke each other up. As we were starting to look for a place to camp for the night, 
we happened upon this little outcropping off to the left-hand side of the road. I have to say this was one of my most favorite little offshoots of the day. Les called out, hey Andy, you want to go check this out? Just be careful. I don't know if there's a road on the other side of that little rise. And I said, sure! Went over, shot down, and found this little impromptu campsite here at the far end. And parked, took some great pictures. It was just an absolutely beautiful spot to stop and take it in. Thanks again for watching another one of my videos. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I did making it and actually as I had experiencing it. Please, please get out and try this trail. This was an absolute blast. Thank you for your time today. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and check out something else that tickles your fancy here on my channel. Thank you so much.